Hello and welcome to Adventures in VFK. This is Fairy Fanatic and today I'm in Merlin's shop as you can see and I wanted to go ahead, this is part of the crafting series, I wanted to go ahead and show you what it takes to collect spider webs. First of all you're going to need a set of shears and yeah uh, it's, it's under specials and also as you can see where the tab is it's, I, I had to tab up about, I went all the way to the bottom and I had to tab up about six times. So as you can see, it says spider silk scissors. So that you have to go ahead and purchase one of these. And you also need a bomb Tasha, which is a bag that you carry. So we want to go ahead and put the shears on and we want to put our bomb Tasha on. Okay, now this is um, at certain times of year, especially around Halloween, they have a lot of spider webs out. They're, they're pretty much everywhere and they're very easy to collect. So that's really a very good time to collect them. But if you need to have some spider webs and it's not Halloween, you can still find some here and there around the kingdom, um, especially in this area here. This is, um, we're in Audubon. I'm going to the Audubon mini game. And you should be, if we look around here, we should be able to see some spider webs. So right there with the spider dropping, okay, when he come, when the spider comes down, you can go ahead and collect the web. There's a black web and there's also the white web. So it tells you harvesting spider web. Actually, there's three kinds of webs. And as you can, you can see all three out right here. So we go, okay, this is harvesting spider web. Please wait while the spider web is harvested. This will take about a minute. So this is, you can see one of the kinds here. And then behind me, you can also see the kind of a dark web there. And there's another one over here to the right, and that's a white one. So definitely want to get all three kinds. You can see all the birds flying around here. I love these rooms. They are so great. I love all these birds. And the Audubon game is just, it's, it's lots of fun. It's really cute. You have to go through. And it's based on, I have, I, I'm going to have to do a, a video on the Audubon game because it's, it's a really good way of getting credits. And actually, it's a great way of learning birds. It's based on the Audubon's, uh, Audubon's drawings. Okay, spider web. You've got spider web. This spider web has been harvested. Okay, so let go, let's go ahead and get this one here. Please wait while the spider web is harvested. This will take about a minute. Okay, so we're still in here with all the birds flying around. Okay, spider web. You've got spider web. This spider web has been harvested. Okay, now let's go ahead and get the very last one over here. And if you go through the Audubon rooms, you'll you will pro most likely find some spider web. Uh, we're gonna harvest we're gonna harvest this one. So just just look around, um, and uh, if you you know if they're harvested, then that's okay. But you know as you see, you can't see them when they've been harvested. It's not like a lot of the other plants where they there's something left over after it's been harvested so you, you won't be able to see them but ones that aren't harvested just you know just go on up to them and collect them up okay spider web you've got spider web this spider web has been harvested all right so we've got this done um, we can try another room too and the way you can get to the next Audubon room is just walking down the path and going into the next room. And what the nice thing about this is this is actually, this is, this is what the game rooms look like, but these are special rooms that you can walk in. Okay, you can see the spider going down. When you see the, see the spider come crawling down like that, then you know he's gonna make a web. So we have at least two webs in here. And we'll go ahead and, and harvest these two. But just remember, all you have to do is just keep walking from room to room and collecting up your spider web. And there are a lot of things in the that you can craft using the spider web. So whenever you see it, it's a good idea to just go ahead and grab it because it's they can come in really handy. Plus of course, you can always trade use them to trade for things. 
Um, a lot of people will collect a lot up at Halloween. So if you need if you need spider web, and you want to make something, you can always trade for it too. Well, that's pretty much how you collect up your spider web. And this is one of your materials that you use in crafting. And now you'll know when this is a requirement for one of your patterns, how to get it. So thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye.